Welcome to Hydesville Tower School. I'm Miss Jenkins, Head of Senior School, and I'm delighted to take you on a virtual tour of our school today. Welcome to our school dining hall. All of the food is prepared freshly by the catering company Chartwells. School lunches are included in the fees up until year 10. Morning supervision takes place in this dining hall from 8am onwards. Pupils then go to their form rooms from 8.25am onwards and must be registered by 8.45am. Form groups at Hydesville Tower School are vertical, which means there are a mix of pupils from year 7 to 11, which is really beneficial for pupils when integrating into our Hydesville community. Next at the dining hall, we come onto the school yard. As you can see, we have our own school minibus service. If you're interested in this service, either one way or return, then please inquire at the school office. The format of the senior school day is as follows. Pupils register at 8.45 a.m. in their form groups, the vertical form groups. They then go to their first lesson at 9.05 a.m. Each lesson is 55 minutes long. There are two lessons, a 15 minute break, which pupils have on this yard, two lessons, 50 minute lunch which pupils again have on this yard and then the end of the school day at 3.45 p.m. Now we're fortunate enough at Hydesville to have a gate which exits right onto the Arboretum which you'll see as I just turn the corner here. We use the Arboretum facility as much as possible so for lessons and for enrichment every Friday last lesson in the senior school we have an enrichment lesson. This enables pupils to have a lesson on timetable, which enhances their curriculum. Here, we also have the AstroTurf, so pupils are able to play football at break times and lunch times and enjoy themselves out here on the yard. Welcome to our art classroom here in the Hydesville Tower Senior School. We're fortunate enough to have a really successful art department where we enter pupils into national competitions, national ISA competitions. We've had several winners in the past few years and we're very proud of our successes. We also encourage leadership from year seven onwards. We have pupils who lead their own extracurricular clubs. We've got a cartoon club and we offer roles of responsibility to suit pupils' potential. Here, it's also worth noting that each pupil has their own locker here at Hydesville so that they do not need to carry their belongings around school. Welcome to the larger of the two science labs which we have here at Hydesville Tower School. Pupils thoroughly enjoy conducting experiments within their science lessons. Each half term pupils are assessed in each subject and where there are concerns or where there are gaps in pupils' understanding, intervention sessions are offered. Now these sessions are offered by subject specialists and they may, be, they may take place at break times, lunch times or after school for a certain amount of time to bridge the gap in the pupils' understanding. We also at Hydesville have an extensive extracurricular programme. We do offer Duke of Edinburgh Award. These extracurricular activities take place at lunch times or after school. Some other examples include art clubs, sports clubs, fundraising clubs and really anything that interests the pupils. It's also worth mentioning that although we have the AstroTurf here at Hydesville, our sports facilities for PA are off-site. We use Wolverhampton University Walsall Campus site. We also use Walsall Gala Swimming Baths and Windley Leisure Centre. Welcome to our school library. Here pupils are able to work independently towards their studies. We offer the Accelerated Reader Programme, which encourages pupils to read as often and as much as possible. We also support pupils as they decide on their post-16 choices as they leave us in Year 11. We have careers resources available to them. We also have a careers advisor who supports with these important decisions. The majority of our pupils do opt to go to grammar schools and the local comprehensive schools although we do have some pupils who also opt for college route. It's also worth noting that although pupils are able to take up to four GCSE subjects, some pupils opt to take three additional GCSE subjects and study study skills. Study skills is an opportunity for pupils to work on their maths, English and science, their core subjects. Welcome to our computer science lab. Here at Hydesville we have an extensive list of subjects which pupils can opt for at GCSE. Typically, students must take 
English, English Literature, Maths, Double or Triple Science Award, and then pupils are able to choose up to a further four subjects. These subjects may include Art, Music, PE, Business Studies, Computer Science, French, Geography, History, Religious Studies. Welcome to one of our two maths classrooms here at Hydesville Tower Senior School. You'll notice straight away the size of the classroom. Typically in the senior school, the largest class size is 14, which enables the teachers to thoroughly support pupils to know their strengths and areas of development. When pupils choose their GCSE options, which I'll talk about later on, the class sizes become increasingly smaller. There may be classes of two, five, seven and so on, depending on the popularity of the subject. Our GCSE results here at Hyersville are competitive with the grammar schools in the local borough. For the last few years, our GCSE results have been within the top three schools in the borough. I've thoroughly enjoyed taking you on this virtual tour today. There's lots more I'd like to talk to you about and I look forward to our question and answer session soon. Mm -hmm.